team, welcome to episode 6 of Raising Havana. So today was the big day. Today we took Havana out for her first proper dog walk. This is the first time she's ever been on the floor outside that wasn't our garden. This was really, really exciting for us because we've been building to this moment for a little while. And I was really, really curious to see just how Havana would cope. Would she be a little bit nervous outside? Would she be a little bit uncomfortable? There's Uggy hanging out there. What was amazing is she actually got really, really excited. Every member of the family she was darting to and from to, having a really, really good time running around. What we specifically focused on was a couple of key things, mainly engagement work. So we wanted her to check in with us. So that's when she's off doing her own thing and then has a little look and sees where we are. We wanted her to follow our body language. So if we change direction, we wanted her to follow and we wanted to practice our recall cue with her outside. All three of those things were massively successful. We didn't really encounter very many dogs or people as a distraction, but what I loved is how engaged she actually was with us. Now I've spoken about this before, but we use something called a marker. And a marker will just mean to Havana that what you've done is correct and a reward is coming. We tend to use a verbal marker. So that might be like, yes, or good, or something like that. It's a bit like taking a snapshot of the exact moment that you want to reward your dog for. It provides a massive amount of clarity because a lot of the time when we use food in training, we're not actually telling our dogs what they're being rewarded for. So you'll see in some of these videos when Havana looks at me and makes eye contact, I use my marker and I feed her. You'll also see her start to gravitate towards my left hand side. That's because I'm actually doing a technique wherein I'm teaching a loose lead walking without a lead. But again, I'll talk about that another time. But it's all based on engagement work. Using a marker is revolutionary in exactly what you want to be doing with your dogs because it provides that clarity. It lets them know exactly what they're being rewarded for. And when they know what they're being rewarded for, they're way more likely to do it in the future. In terms of how to start training a marker, it's really, really simple. Pick your specific word. I use yes or good. It needs to be short and sharp. When your dog does anything you like, say that word and then feed them. They're going to very quickly learn that that, reward, or that word excuse me, always predicts food. Alongside other training that Havana and I have done today, we've mainly taken it easy because it was her first proper outing, but we did some coin indication work on a rug. So what I'm trying to teach her to start doing now is using her nose to sniff out and locate the coin and also my human scent on the coin as well. And as you'll see from this video, she did really, really well. So there you go, a wonderful little training session. I was really impressed with how well she did. Remember, the goal of this is to document. I'm not showing you everything to do with Havana's day because it'd be a really, really long video, but I hope these videos are providing with you a little bit of value of how to build up your dog so that when they are entering adolescence, when they hit about a year, you've got a really robust, well-trained dog. If you want to follow Havana's daily adventures, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, give us a like on this video, and drop a comment saying what's been your favourite part so far of watching Havana grow up. You can also find me on Facebook at Jack Fenton dash the Dorset Dog Trainer. Team, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll chat with you again soon. Bye!